Danielle is looking for a second date update with a guy named Cameron, and she's going to tell us all about it. Hey, Danielle, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? We're doing good. So uh, we read your email. Thank you for coming on Second Date Update. Why don't you take us from the beginning and, in your own words, tell our listeners kind of what happened, how you guys met, and how that first date went. Okay. So um, about two months ago, I met this guy. Uh, we met on Match, and we've been talking. I mean, we've been talking for a while now, and we actually were going to get together for a date. And what's great is that we're both essential workers. So, you know, we've been a little, of course, helping people and everything. And we were a little concerned about the physical closeness, like Mm -hmm. that could potentially take place, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like Mm -hmm. we're not so afraid of being in public, but just seeing each other. But, I mean, come on, let's face it. Oh, God. All of us get a little horny these days. <laughs> so, I was just, you know, I just wanted to make sure I'll be able to control myself. I wasn't so, sure if that's what you meant, and then you totally went there. So <laughs> thank you for the honesty, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm about being real, you know. And so um, he's really good looking. Oh, my God. So <laughs> as soon as we were, like, together, you know, us wanting to be close, it's like I couldn't help it. As soon as we went to dinner, I promised I wanted to jump his bones. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's so fine. Damn. But, you know, I didn't. Um, gratefully, I can say we had a very nice meal, great conversation. We had a few drinks. I would say maybe mm, the date lasted about two hours. And he's such a gentleman. He walked me to my car. He hugged me goodbye, and that was it. But Okay, so you guys did not hook up. Dang, then. you wanted to jump his bones and you let him go? Well, you know, I mean, I can't make him, but I thought we had something there because I've called, I've texted, and he just hasn't gotten back with me yet. So oh, I don't Maroney. know if I did something bad or what, but... So, I mean, was, oh. you guys hung out for two hours, so you kind of felt like he was sort of giving off the same vibe you were giving off. You think he was as into you as you were? Yeah, I thought we had a connection, to be honest. I mean, we have a lot of things in common, and our conversation was amazing. But Hmm. uh, I don't know. He hasn't called, and I've texted, and it's just a little crazy to me. So So you said he walked you to your car. Did you say there was a hug or a kiss or neither or both or what? No, he hugged me. He hugged me goodbye. We didn't kiss each other, but he he definitely hugged me goodbye, and... He was really sweet, so I'd love to go out with him again. I just don't know what happened. Hmm. Yeah, this is interesting. And it felt good right up until the end. It didn't feel like he was kind of brushing you off. Uh, if he was, I must say, he did a really good job of hiding it. But, yeah, I thought that we were maybe into each other. I mean, ugh, what uh, <laughs> What signals were you shooting off at him? This is a good question. What are your techniques of letting a guy know that you're into him when you're sitting across the table at dinner. What do you do? What (laughs) nonverbal signals do you send to let a guy know you're into him? (laughs) Well, of course, the eye. um, I kind of... If you're close, like I might kind of rub his leg a little bit. I'm gonna say that thigh grip. I feel grip. like she has a flirty yeah. personality. Like I can feel that she's kind of flirty just talking to her on the phone. So yeah. I bet she kind of has that vibe to her a little bit. Yeah, that maybe. that thigh grip. That's like check, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. He's so hot. Like I couldn't keep my hands to myself. I was trying, but uh, I thought he was liking it. I mean, you know, I could be wrong, but I thought he did. I thought he would like it. Hmm. I mean, what guy wouldn't? Good point. (laughs) All right. Well, then let's do this. We're going to take a break here, Danielle. And when we come back, we will call Cameron and we'll ask him what the deal is and whether or not there's a chance you guys could get together again. Please do. Yes. All right. We'll do it next. We come back. Second date update with Jeff and Jen, Cincinnati's Q102. Danielle met Cameron on Match a couple of months ago, and they chit-chatted for a while before they finally got together for an actual date. She thought Cameron was super attractive, and uh, they probably could have hooked up that night. I'm assuming, Danielle, like if Cameron had invited you back to his place, would you have agreed or played it cool? <laughs> that would have been crazy not to. Yeah, so it was just a matter of him not. And it was it ended nice. They hung out for two hours. They had a great conversation. They have a lot in common. They seemed to really click. But the date ended with him walking her to her car and a hug, and that was that. I hope nothing happened to the guy, but he hasn't gotten back with me yet, and that's not normally a good sign. I'm not used to getting stood up or anything. So. Okay, well, let's... 
call Cameron and see what's up. Hello. Hi, is this Cameron? Who's this, please? It's Jeff and Jen at Q102. How are you doing this morning? <laughs> you got a few minutes? I'm heading to get ready for work. All right, well, we don't want to take up too much of your time, but we just wanted to let you know that we received a phone call this morning from someone who went on a date with you recently, and she seemed to think that you two had a lot in common, but... You know, unfortunately, she hasn't heard from you since then, and maybe you've been busy, maybe you've had a lot going on, and if that's the case, our apologies, <laughs> but... Um, Danielle. It is Danielle. What's going on with you and Danielle? I'm looking for a relationship. I'm done with Tinder. I'm done with sleeping around. I'm done with swooping in at last call. I've had my fun. I'm ready for something serious possibly a family after i mean god after these last five months it's really made you think and she's very nice she was just a little a little too eager and willing just you know and get it on mm. you know and normally i wouldn't care i, I well it's the old me, maybe. I, he wouldn't care, but she, she just wouldn't stop talking about it. And, and I, I can't believe I'm saying this. About how good-looking I was and, you know, all the things she wanted to do to me. And it was just over the top. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I kind of get your point. We couldn't even have a simple conversation without it turning sexual. I, um... I mean, one point, I said, hey, how's your food? And... <laughs> She said something like, I love the taste, but I'm sure you taste better. Whoa. Oh, wow. wow. It's just constant. It's just too much. And I, I, I guess I guess I'm just not. I well, don't know. Uh, Cameron, I let me ask you rush, this. Because there. there were some guys who would say, you know, as great as that was, it kind of took the thrill out of the chase for me. You know, like some guys live for that chase. Yeah. But you, on the like other hand, are saying you're looking for a substantive relationship. And does this lead you to believe that it wouldn't be. It wouldn't go beyond the well, sexual? Right. I, I think, like I said, I've done Tinder. I've done the one-night stands. I've done the quick relationships, and it's fine. And I'm not going to change who I was. I can't change who I was, and I won't apologize for it. But just take our time a little bit. Tone down the eager beaver. Very yeah. interesting. <laughs> Dude. But all, she all really is intended. excited to be around this situation. Like. She hadn't been out in a while. Sure. Maybe she was just putting in her excitement was just. <laughs> I might not get back out for a while. We yeah. better go big right now. Let's go. All right. Well, uh, let's ask her. We have Danielle on the line with us. What's your reaction to what Cameron said? Yeah. Wow. Is my reaction. I mean, I didn't know that that was a complaint. I've never gotten that before. And apparently you're a prude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wow. think sometimes not- girl women feel like. Guys want to know that we're available, and maybe they like that flirty talk. Is that not the case? No, I, yeah, I would say that's the case. Not a proof. <laughs> I mean, like I said, it was very nice. It was just a little too much. I just am not ruled by my libido anymore, and that's not not a, a, a real slam to her. Right. And I understand people been cooped up. I get it. This is just how I am. This is me right now. I don't know. I feel like if he was really feeling her, he would have been like, Tim, check, let's go. Time to, time I to go. I kind of get what this guy's saying, though. Do you feel like the relationship would be focused mainly on sex and not enough oh. on substance? Absolutely. And especially if it starts like that, you can't even get through a dinner. It's like, well, what happens when we finally, you know, have dessert sometime? It's like, wow, we never made it this far without. I don't know. Maybe I'm just screwed up. <laughs> just didn't feel right. Yeah. You know, I'm really just taken back by all of this because, I mean, we've been talking for months, but whatever. Do you feel, so th- let me ask you an honest question, Danielle. I'm not, I'm playing devil's advocate here. Did you see a future with Cameron beyond just the physical? Yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I? I mean, I thought our conversations were great. I mean, we laughed. I mean, I don't think you should lead people on if he's not, you know, ready for it because I felt like we did have a connection, but. Plus, if they had been talking on match leading up to the date, maybe she felt like she knew him a little more. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
Yeah, I didn't know he was a goody two shoes. It's all good. Whatever. <laughs> Someone else will like it. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, Cameron, thank you for taking the call. And Danielle, we always appreciate people who put themselves out there and come on Second Date Update. We don't always like the answers, but I think a lot of people listening learn a lot from Second yeah, Date yeah. Updates. I'm not sure what the lesson is here. But Follow your gut. I guess yeah, so. I, ha- I think you're going to do pretty well, Danielle, though. I think there's a lot of people out there that oh, are feeling lonely. <laughs> and hungry. And hungry. So I'm sure you're going to do great. You're going to do just fine. Thank you. I appreciate both of you, all of you. Thank you so much. (laughs) Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CVG Airport.